Hello everybody and welcome back to the Set United Career Mode series here on FIFA 23, I am DFG and we are back here once again with Mark Bentley, Southern United So It's been a while since we've uh, actually been uh, with uh, Southern United here and it's always nice to go back to FIFA 23 and continue this series um, after not have, doing it for a long time but uh, I do want to bring Southern United from bottom to the top and we're going to continue that here today. We are currently 6 points clear at the top of the League 2 and we face Stevenage in the Papa John's Trophy today. And uh, they've had a tough season so far. Uh, only won uh, one game in 21 in uh, the league. Uh, we faced them already this year and beat them 3-0. And they don't have a goalkeeper. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I say they're at the bottom of the table right now. Um, they, they've no goalkeeper on the squad. So they've been rotating different outfield players. Um, in goals for them. Jordan Roberts is the man who's going to be in goal for them here today. He was the guy who was in goals for them last time when we beat him 3-0. Let's see what we can do here and see if we can get to the next round. Stevenage and Sutton United, two teams here at opposite ends of the table in League 2 as they face off here in the Pop John's Trophy. What are these teams will go through the next round? Let's see which one it is. Thomas gets the cross in and Fada Hunzi's there and he's going to put the ball in the net Fada Hunzi always got a nose for goal in this competition and he's going to give Sutton United the lead it's actually pretty simple just Hart Thomas loads his time and space to pick out his pass and it's a good header by Fada Hunzi but really if that was a goalkeeper you know that it was actually a goalkeeper Jordan Roberts of course a winger he probably would have saved it. Jordan Roberts has to come all the way up from the back to take corners as well. But it is Stephen Chair. Great chance and a good save there from Marshall, the Cup goalkeeper for Sutton United. Uh, an academy graduate. Got his right hand up to get that one away. Big, quick snapshot. And he does save it. It's a good save too. Stephen on the attack here again. Is it Clark? But... Welch gets the foot in, comes back here to Deeney, turns around, Smith's there, strike, and it's off target. Great opportunity there for Stevenich again. They're making chances here, Stevenich, but this one's off target. Marshall probably had it covered, though. Now coming up to half time, and Stevenich are once again charging forward. Smith, Reed. Foot in there, and now Sutton can. We counter attack here. McLean. Great ball to Thomas. Great ball to Randall at the other side. He takes a touch and it's an excellent save from Jordan Roberts, to be fair. That could have been two. It's not, though. And there goes the half time whistle. Both teams very active in the attacking third, but Sutton United was the team who was able to hit the back of the net. Probably should have been 2 0 there at the end, but Jordan Roberts playing in goal here for today for, today for Stevenich, who. Really, he shouldn't be. Was able to make a really good save. But at half time, it's Sutton United 1, Stephen is 0. Another 45 minutes here for Sutton United and Stevenage to see which team will go through to the next round. Both teams actually have been very good going forward. Sutton United were able to take their chance. Stevenage weren't. Uh, let's see what happens here in the next 45 minutes. Stevenich here with List Dini. Welch is there, back to List as he tries to put it out wide. Slow build up, but they're doing well. Eventually comes back to List, and it's a good save from Marshall. List has got a few goals in League Two this year, seven so far through this uh, first uh, half of the season, but Marshall is up to the task there. Moved away by Stevenich. Defender. And eventually it gets to McLean. Lovely little bit piece of skill there from McLean. He did get into the box there, but couldn't find an opening. He brings it back to Lovett. He's going to strike it, and it's a good save from Dini, who has taken over goalkeeping duties here. Lovett gets a chance and misses the. Decent strike, but an easy save in the end for Dini. Stevenich now running out of time. 
Quite a long ball there, but Ogundega is going to uh, clean that up for Sutton. Really good performance from the back four. Now they're going to come forward again. McLean, lovely through ball. Fado Hunzi's through. And this could be it. He's done everything right. And the finish is there as well. Fado Hunzi scores his second and surely puts the result without doubt now. Sutton United will go through to the next round. 2-0 here against Stevenich. Ball by McLean is really well done, but the touch by Fadahunzi just gave him that space to kind of get away from the defender. Fadahunzi always lives on the, the shoulder of the the last man, and he does it excellent there. Goes through, and it's a lovely finish. 2 0. And that should be it. You know, you have to give credit to where credit is due. Stevenich did put up a great challenge to Sutton here today and had some chances weren't able to put the ball in the net and there is the full time whistle so United take it two goals from Fadahunzi here in a really entertaining game both sides really did well to, to create chances but so United probably had the more clear cut and probably had the better chances and they were able to put them away Fadahunzi of course continues his great goal scoring record in this competition and in the cup competitions in general as he scores another two here today. At the end, at full time here at Sutton United 2, Stephen H. Nill. Another win here for this Sutton United side is uh, we now go into a massive game in the league away to Cheltenham. Before that, we do see that Callum Ainley has returned from injury. There are, we are starting to get healthier. We've got a lot of injuries, if you guys uh, remember. We are getting some players back. Our, league, our lead at the top of League 2 has been cut to three points. Both Exeter City and Stockport both have a game in hand. Uh, both have a game played more than us, so we have a game in hand. We face Cheltenham, who are down in fourth. They are one of the main rivals that we have here this season for a promotion place. Um, they're a pretty good side. Alfie May has 11 goals, one of the top goal scorers in the league this season. And this is the starting 11. A few changes made. Let's see if we can get the win here today against Champions. Cheltenham Town versus Sutton United, a very important game in the landscape of this league season. Both teams in the top five, Sutton United leading the way and Cheltenham not far behind them. Only one of these teams will get a result today or will it end in a draw? Let's see what happens. Sutton United come forward, nice ball to Gibson. Let's see how Sutton United attack him as Gibson goes back to Barden. Smith. Now Gambin, he gets a strike away and that's just wide. Gambin always dangerous from that midfield position. Gets a strike away, but it's off target. Lovely challenge there from Eastman. The Sutton United have certainly started the brighter in this first half an hour of this game. Gambin, he is it out to Barden and now Gibson has it. Gibson's done well. It's opened up here and Wilson's there and it's a great finish. Gibson finds the man to put the ball in the net and Donovan Wilson is there. And he will open the scoring here. 1-0 Southern United. Just get the, the defender comes out to, to close down Gibson. And Donovan Wilson's able to move into the space there to finish. Really... Maybe the keeper could have done better, but in the end, it's the first goal of today's game. Yaskos is through here now. He thinks it back in. Volley straight at the goalkeeper. I expect him to do better there. Yaskos really set it up on a play for him on, for him on the volley, but uh, he wasn't able to put the ball in the net. Got a chance here for Sutton United right before the break. Thomas is there. Goes off him for... A corner and Sutton United may be able to double their lead right before the break. Gibson, of course, the taker. Good life is up. Good life is there, and it's another great save from the goalkeeper. 
And that will be the halftime whistle. Cheltenham Town had one opportunity in that half. So, you know, it had been a lot more lively. And have made a few chances. But are, have only got the one goal to show for it. At halftime, it's Cheltenham Town nil. So, you know, I have won. The first half where Sutton United really dominated but weren't able to get the two goal comfortable cushion that maybe they were hoping for. Now Chetlam still have a chance to win this game and get something out of this game for definite. But there's 45 more minutes to see what will happen. Chapman. May. Riascos is free down this right hand side here again and he's going to strike it and it's a good save from Rose in the end. Good tackle by Brockbank and now here comes Sutton, Gambin, good ball to Thomas, we know how dangerous he has been in good form lately. Pulls the ball back to Wilson, gets another strike and it's a really good save from the goalkeeper. Excellent reactions. Thomas does everything right here, gets it back to Wilson, but it's a great block by the defender, and it's a great save, he gets down and pushes it wide. Gibson to Smith, and it's another glorious save from the goalkeeper. Cheltenham are being kept in this game from their, uh, by their goalkeeper, great ball, Smith is there, big powerful header, it's a good save. Adahunzi now on in the last few moments. And Gibson is through. He's got there. Great save. It's gone back off Gibson. And when your luck is on, sometimes you can't be stopped. And Gibson will make sure that Sutton you know, United come away with the three points. As lucky as it may be. Adahunzi actually gives a really decent through ball. But for a difficult for a full back to deal with. And really, there's nothing that uh, Gibson can do about this. It comes back and hits him right in the face. But it ends up in the back of the net. And it's their second goal. And that will be enough for the win here today. Cheltenham were a little bit better in this second half. But there is a golfing class between these two sides at the moment. I think we saw here today that Sutton United could have had many more. But they only end up with two here as the full-time whistle goes. Cheltenham will be disappointed in how they played, but Sutton United probably won't be too happy either. Had a few opportunities, probably could have put more goals into the back of the net, which, you know, as a, as a, as a manager, you'd want your team to score goals. Uh, goal difference can be a big factor in these promotion battles, but uh, in the end, it's only two. And at full time, it's Cheltenham Town nil, Sutton United two. Happy, of course, with the three points against a very um, tough side to play in Cheltenham Town. But we could have done more. We could have we could have scored more. And I think it's a disappointment that we didn't. With that, we are now in risk of losing seven players. So I, I had offered some contracts earlier on. There's a few guys that I want to uh, give some uh, contracts here to to make sure that they are with us for, for the future. First one is Jack Rose. I think keeping him around for another year is probably the right way to go, even though Dexter Marshall, our backup goalkeeper from the Youth Academy, is uh, higher overall now. I just think he's he's a, still a very good goalkeeper. Alistair Smith will also stay. I think he's going to be a long-term option for us. Uh, he's still very, very young. Luke Gambin is next. He's been uh, really a really, really good and a surprising part of our midfield. I think Gambin's done really well. Kuam Thomas has really turned it on over the last few weeks when he gets a two-year contract as well. And um, there are only four players now. Well, three, not including the loan that comes in. Omar Bougil, uh, Louis Jean, and Sam Hart. They're the three. I'm not quite sure where we're going to go with those yet. Louis Jean, I'm kind of thinking about resigning him, but I'm not sure 100% yet. Next up is Crawley Town. And we are now six points clear at the top of the table. So we do have a, that uh, gap once again. Okrai Town are in 14th. They have 30 points. And they're a team that we've, uh, we've, we've had some problems with. Crawley Town can be, a, can be a tough ask at times. And we are at home. Um, but they do have some good players. Uh, Nathan, Telford, Alassani. All dangerous going forward. And can make goals and score goals as well. So we have to uh, really uh, keep an eye on them. We did beat them in the cup only a few weeks back. 2-0 in a comfortable tie. But uh, they can be dangerous. And we know that uh, we have to keep that in mind. 
this is in, uh, the starting 11 for this game. Pretty much the exact same as the last one. Let's see if we can get another three points here against Harley Town. And Sutton United versus Crawley Town here today. Crawley faced off against Sutton United only a few weeks ago and lost that time. Maybe up for a little bit of revenge here today. Let's see if they can get it. But it's going to be a tough ask to come to Sutton United and get three points. Let's see what happens. Crawley Town that's up first. And Heston Fowler has done well there. He gets it to Shoe Baron. In the end, it's a pretty okay save for Jack Rose. They did well, though, to get that opportunity off. And uh, it's a tough uh, chance to, to have, but he did get it on target. Smith trying to get away there, and Powell has nicked it off him. At Hassani, Telford. Here's a chance. Great save by Rose. Keeping him in the game so far. Two saves here early. That one much better. He gets down for down low for the save. Only town here again. They've started significantly better. But it's bounced right for Telford, and it's another glorious save from Jack Rose. Crawley Town are really bringing it to Sutton United here in the first 20 or so minutes. Really good strike, but at full stretch, Rose is able to save it. Sutton United really just trying to come into the game, and Wilson's done really well there. Little dink over. Smith's able to take a brilliant touch, and it's off target. Smith does everything right except the finish. And it's a really good chance. Great ball by Wilson as well after he won the ball back in a good position. But Smith's not able to get the finish. So United now on the counter-attack. They've been outclassed here in the, the early goings. But this could be the first goal and it's against going to play. And indeed it is. It's Gibson who is usually their provider. But he turns goal scorer here as Quam Thomas continues his great run of great play down that left-hand side. And Sutton United have taken the lead. It's just so quick. He's Thomas, great ball across the, the six, just outside the six-yard box as well. And uh, Gibson just says, all right, I'm going to smash this into the net. And does and takes it will willingly. 1-0. Right before the break, this could be two. Thomas is there again. Lovely little piece of skill. Lovely ball in and Eastman's there. And Gibson tries to get there as well by going up. But the keeper will claim it. And the halftime whistle will blow with that after a really good start for Crawley Town Jack Rose kept Sutton United in this game and by the time that the halftime whistle had blown Sutton United had taken an undeserved lead however at halftime Sutton United are 1-0 up here against Crawley Town Sutton United will be pretty happy with the first half uh, Jack Rose's few saves able to keep them in the tie as they were able to take a lead late in the half. Now they have to make sure they're able to uh, finish this uh, win here. As we have a, another 45 minutes that will start with a card for Mo Shubar here. A yellow card after a sliding challenge. Holy Town here again. They're coming forward. Telford, Good Life is there battling. Just trying to do enough to put him off. And it looks like he did straight at the goalkeeper. And Jack Rose does really well. And now it's the corner. Ball goes to Powell. Hesson Thaler. And it's Schubert. Nice ball through. Frank home. And there it is. And rightfully so. Crawley Town have deserved something from this game. And just past the hour mark, they get the goal to get them back on level terms 1-1 Crawley Town really could go on and win this comes from the corner they play it short it's a really nice ball into Frank Comedy lovely turn and really there's nothing Rhodes can do about that he's just he's too close there's not much time he can react and in the end it's a goal one all to be a very very interesting few minutes here lovely challenge there from Hogan Dega, and now Sutton United are going to charge forward. Thomas is there for Lovis, and Sutton United might steal this at the end, but no, the defender does just enough to put Lovis off. He's clear on goal here, and the defender ju does just enough, and Sutton United will more than likely now only get a point out of this game. There's Crawley Town, Telford's there, good life comes across, and he's able to. Uh, clean it up and now 
Sutton United are going to come forward. They already had a chance. But a poor pass now gives it back to Crawley Town. Can Crawley get the goal here? Ogan Dega is able to take that away. Does excellently. Done really well over the last few games, Ogan Dega. And in the end, Crawley Town will get a point here from Sutton United at the VBS Community Stadium. They probably would have taken that at the start of the game, but after watching 90 minutes of this football game, one would uh, Crawley Town. Uh, players, manager and supporter are going to be disappointed uh, having only taken one point away from this game. They were far superior in this game. But in the end, they will only take away one point. Uh, so United only really had, what, two chances? And they were able to take one of them and they will get a point in this game. A full time, it's Sutton United 1, Crawley Town 1. Not uh, quite the dominant performance there at the, the final game. But the rest of the games, I think we played pretty well. The first game, we were really good. Uh, Steven Hitch had a few chances, though, which I was a little bit surprised by. Steven Hitch actually have a lot of talent, but they just don't have a goalkeeper. And that's really holding them back, in the, I suppose, in the simulating. And, uh, you know, when you don't have a goalkeeper, I suppose it makes uh, some a modicum of sense. But they do have some players that I'm interested in that, uh, uh, that I might take from them. Because Elliot List has been banging them in this year. He's at seven goals. I know it's only 21 games, but when you're on a team like the Eventual who aren't, you know, winning, they might, they might, uh, they, might um, they might sell them to me. Now I'll have to wait and see. We'll see where we are in January. Maybe more so something I look at in the next uh, na next summer. But we'll see. Um, the other two games, um, honestly, I think against Crawley Town, we were really poor. Probably didn't deserve a point in that game. But I mean, when you've got uh, players in good form you tend to scrape out results and I think we did that and uh, obviously the win against Cheltenham was a huge result for us so really good to see and it's always great to, to come back to Sutton United I've really enjoyed coming back to you know the first series in the channel and it's uh, it's great to you know come back to all these players again and we're going to keep on going with this um, I am going to get through season two at least and we'll see what we do from there right now I'm aiming towards kind of making still continuing the series but a different format but we see what way that goes we're still six points clear here as we are just about to head into January and the first half of the season is pretty much over now. But uh, that's all we have time for here. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos as well if you enjoy the content. Uh, have a good day, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.